Hello everyone, this is Tracy Streets back with another video. In this video, I am going to show you how I prepare a Chinese bread from scratch. Right now, I am washing my hands and I have to wash them pretty good considering I have nails on. So I am about to show you the ingredients that I use to make my shrimp lo mein. First, egg noodles, shrimp, baby corn, green onion, baby bok choy, white onion, carrots, bean sprouts, garlic, ginger, and egg. Next, I am going to show you the ingredients to make the slurry, which is cornstarch, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. I love sesame oil. Right now, I have boiling water inside my wok, and I'm about to put the noodles inside. Right here, I am draining the noodles and then I'm going to rinse them with cold water. You have to do that or they will stick. Up next, preparing the veggies. Right here, I am taking the first layer of skin off of this carrot. Now I was gonna use this carrot, like cut it up myself, but it was a pretty thick carrot and it was taking up too much time. So I improvised and I got a bag of already shredded carrots. So to cut time in half, I'm going to cut the ginger into small pieces and put the garlic inside that veggie chopper. I learned a valuable tip from Chef Ramsey. He said if you do not cut the root of an onion off, it will not make you cry. Well, he is so right, because the whole time I was dealing with this onion, I did not shed one tear. And before, when I would cut that back piece off, which is the root of the onion, I would definitely cry, like, the whole time. Also, please excuse um, the camera as the cutting board is beating up against it, because I tried to prop it high so that um, you guys could get a better view of what I'm doing. So it was just a little unbalanced, but it worked out in the end. Next up, adding the garlic. I wasn't sure how finely chopped I wanted my vegetables, so I just left it at semi small semi medium i don't know it was perfect size for me next up 
So right here, I am starting to work on my green onions and my bok choy. Just to let you guys know, I wash all of my vegetables and I wash my hands throughout the process like constantly and I wash my cutting board as well. Um, so right now I'm working on the green onions and bok choy. So for instance, if I start cutting tomatoes before I even start cutting those tomatoes, I'll wash my hands and I'll wash the board as well. Sanitation is very important when you're preparing food. Next up, slurry mixture. Okay, so here I'm about to prepare my slurry for my lo mein, which is cornstarch, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. Uh, here I have a little one third measuring cup, but to be honest, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not really paying attention to like it being one third. But to be honest with you guys, I do think I ended up using more of the products and it did equal out to be like the one third of the cup. Okay, so I did leave out one ingredient, chicken broth. And that is what's going to help me make my slurry. That's going to just bring it all together. I know y'all saw those multitasking skills. I know y'all saw that. Up next, bring the lo mein together. So as you can see, um, I added the egg into the wok. And I know a couple of people is probably going to be mad at me. But I know how some people like to fry the ginger and garlic first. And then gradually start adding the vegetables. But I didn't have time for that. I just throw them all together and just kept stirring it to make sure that everything was evenly heated and cooked through but I kind of like my vegetables a little crunchy still so I didn't really cook it that much anyway and also inside the wok I put a little bit of sesame oil so as y'all can see I added the bean sprouts and then I added the noodles but I made the biggest mistake trying to stir them with these tongs because I'm getting food everywhere and it was really hard to manage and stir and I had a whole spatula sitting there but I'm eventually going to switch to that anyway because in this next clip I'm going to start adding my slurry mix. Up next, add the slurry mixture.
Yes, using the spatula was so much easier. Um, I didn't even realize how much food was in this wok though, but I managed. Up next, the final look. So here I have my sushi rice in a bowl and I'm going to start washing it. Now you wash it with cold water and you wash it until the rice is clear, like the water is clear. Because as you can see, it's, when you add the water, it's a bit cloudy and you can barely even see the rice. So um, I'm going to show you this part and then I'm going to show you when it's clean and how it should look when it's clean. So right here, it's clean. You can see through the water, you can actually see the rice. Up next, cook sushi rice. So in this pot, I have rice vinegar and sugar boiling. So now that my rice is somewhat cooled, I'm going to transfer it to this bowl and pour that rice vinegar and sugar over it. So right here, I am trying to get the rice vinegar and sugar mixture evenly distributed into the rice, just so that the rice will have it, the texture that it needs for me to make the sushi. Next up, ingredients for sushi. So it's shrimp, cucumbers, and avocados. Up next, preparing vermicelli noodles. So here I have my water bowling in the wok, and then I'm going to put the vermicelli noodles in there. And with this, I'm going to put them inside my spring rolls. And in order to make spring rolls, you need rice paper. Up next, preparing batter for shrimp. So right here I have my buttermilk and eggs, and then I have my pinko crumbs. Next, I am going to start seasoning my buttermilk and egg. I know you guys got that joke. If somebody didn't get that joke, something's wrong. I'm telling you, if you guys are ever considering frying yourself some shrimp, please use the combination of seasonings that I just used in this video. It is so good. Whisking and trying to record is not the business, so I ended up finishing it off camera. Up next, vermicelli noodles. So the noodles are looking pretty good and it actually didn't take that long for them to cook. It only took about three to five minutes. I can't believe a noodle was stuck on my finger. 
back to frying the shrimp. So right here, I'm just showing you guys the difference between the shrimp. I took the tail off and then I stretched it a little to see if I can get that long shrimp effect. So when I put it on the sushi roll, it, I, it won't be like balled up or into a clump. But no, it didn't work. So right here, here's the first batch of shrimp that I cooked and they look pretty tasty and they were tasty. Right here is just a little reminder of how I got the shrimp to look so golden brown and crispy. This next clip is the finished product of my sushi. On the white one, it is black and white sesame seeds, avocado, fish eggs, and chili sauce. Right here, I am cutting um, what I call my version of California rolls. It has the fried shrimp inside cream cheese, avocado, and cucumber. After I have this one all cut up and complete, you will see that there's another roll behind it. And this one has the seaweed on the outside and the rice inside. But the other one that I'm going to cut has the seaweed inside and a rice on the outside. And on top of it, it's sprinkled with black and white sesame seeds. In the beginning of the video, I showed the packages and what brand it is in case one of you or some of you want to go out and buy it. In case you want to make you some sushi rolls one day. And inside the rice one, it's the same stuff. It has the avocado and the cucumber and the fried shrimp but I do think I might have put a spicy sauce inside there as well I don't really remember with this one but the other one that has the fish eggs and the chili sauce on top does have the spicy sauce inside Also, I would like to apologize for not showing a demonstration on how I rolled them. But to be honest, it's pretty simple. All you do is go to your local Chinese market, buy you a bamboo roll, and literally just layer it the way you would like and just roll it. it it's really simple. Up next, spring and egg roll reveal. So right here, I'm showing you guys that I have the vermicelli already on the rice paper. And the rice paper is pretty wet, so I'm going to have to hurry up and roll that up. Uh, the egg roll that I already fried up is in the bowl there. And right here, I have three egg rolls already fried and two spring rolls already rolled up. Up next, how I made my spring roll and egg roll filling. So in this clip, I'm going to show you how I completed my filling for my egg rolls and my spring roll. First, I have sesame oil, garlic, and now I just added the egg. And next, I'm going to add the shrimp. And then I'm going to add a pack of trio coleslaw mixture because there was no way I was going to buy two different heads of cabbage to get that look of um yeah that look right there <laughs> yeah I would have been cutting all night and no so yes I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and I think I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce to it just so I can help it 
get a little limp. So right here I am adding soy sauce and sesame oil and my vegetables is right where I want them to be. Up next, explaining the egg roll wrapping. Okay guys, I wanted to show y'all that I think I bought, well I don't think, I know I bought the wrong wrap for my egg rolls. I mean, look at how thin they are. It's thinner than the actual paper that it's on and it was very difficult to work with. It was easy to break, it was flaky. Um, but right here, I'm showing you that I used three of them and I put egg wash on it to keep it together. And this is how they look after I fried them, but they were still a little flaky, but that was okay. In this next clip, I'm gonna show you how I fried them. And I actually tried to put the other rack on top of it so that it can go down and actually fry, but that didn't work. So I had to use a metal chopstick to keep spinning them like a rotisserie chicken. It was just so much and I cooked quite a bit of them too. Guys, make sure you buy the right wrap because this was difficult. Up next, the making of my spring roll sauce. So guys, I already have the sauce pre-made and as you can see, I'm showing you the ingredients that I used. I'm telling y'all, this sauce tastes so bomb on a spring roll. Up next, Chinese dinner table review. So as you can see, I have the different types of sushi. I got my girl Dot chilling with me. In the back, I have the DIY cake stand, the DIY vase. The cake stand is holding the fortune cookies. The vase has the beautiful flowers. And then I have the shrimp rolls and the egg rolls, the mayo and sriracha mix. Look at how that shrimp lo mein looks. Turned out really well. And I'm about to show you how I plated the food. It looks so delicious. I couldn't have did a better job. So I am really happy with my setup and my video is about to come to an end. So if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends leave a comment and tell me what you think and i really do appreciate y'all support y'all awesome thank you